Good morning, Grace Apostolic Church. This week we'll be continuing and finishing our summer in the epistles with the book of 3 John and the book of Jude. 3 John was a letter written by the Apostle John to a man named Gaius. In this letter, John expresses his gratitude towards Gaius for taking in some men that were rejected by Diotrephus, who was a leader in the church during that time. Throughout the letter, John offers principles that can still apply to our lives today. Starting in verse number five of 3 John, it says, Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers, which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, whom if thou bring forward on their journey after a godly sort, thou shalt do well, because that for his name's sake they went forth, taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such, that we might be fellow helpers of the truth. John is encouraging us to be unified as a church. We be, should be consistent in how we treat uh, our brethren or people that we consider close to us and how we treat strangers or the new convert in the church. This is important because no man can win this whole world on his own. But just as John said in verse number eight, it takes some fellow helpers. The Greek translation for that word is companion laborers. We must put our egos aside and treat each other as companions because we're all laboring for the same cause and that is to reach this world. Now looking in the book of uh, Jude, it was written by a man named Jude uh, who happens to be the brother of James, who's the brother of Jesus. Now it's unclear who Jude was specifically writing to, but he speaks with such authority that we can assume that he was a leader in the church during that time of day. I really like what Jude said in verses number five through seven of Jude. It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord having saved the people of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Jude is reminding us that although God is full of endless love and full of endless mercy, there will still come a day of judgment. And if we refuse to put our flesh under submission, and if we refuse to turn away from our sins, we are in danger of eternal fire. It is a call to come out of our sin and to contend for the faith. I love how Jude uh, concludes with reminding us that the journey is not over after we turn away from our sin, but we must go back out and we must show mercy, we must show love, and we must win souls. On behalf of Grace Apostolic Church, thank you to all who participated in some of the epistles, and have a blessed day.